Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing the 10 non yarny things tag plus some because I got some extra ones. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing the 10 non yarny things tag that's going around. I actually don't think I was tagged in it. <laughs> I watched a bunch of people's videos and I wasn't tagged in any of them, but there are still a couple I haven't watched, so maybe they tagged me. But yeah, that made me a little sad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to do it anyways. Even if no one tags me, I always do tag videos. Anyways, I'm going to hop into it. I got more than 10 because I thought of more than 10 things and I, I thought they were, you know, worth sharing. So I'm going to share them. I got them written down right here on my laptop. So if you see me uh, looking over here, that's why. <laughs> do you like my thing back there? I got that at this store called Five Below where everything's $5 or below. And it's got like a light in there that changes colors. But for some reason, it's only on the top two. It might be on the third one in like shot or something. But uh, it's still cute. <laughs> it changes like rainbow colors. I've had that for a while, but I never turned it on. And then I got a little letter board there, and I got my big one back there, but I don't have anything on it right now. Random. <laughs> this is probably going to be a long video because I'm going to chat a lot. So just a warning if you're interested in a shorter video, this you might want to just skip this because it's going to be long. All right, random thing number one. I have a college degree. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody knows that or not, but I did go to school uh, right before me and right before right before me and Devin met my phone just popped up and said it was dying so I don't know how much that cut out but I went to school to be a medical lab technician which is the person who does all the tests on your blood and your urine and uh, your sputums and all that kind of stuff your bone marrow that kind of stuff when um, you're sick and I worked uh, for a while in a hospital in a city next to me uh, before I met Devin. <laughs> Actually, I met Devin right at the end of that, right before I like officially graduated. I met Devin like the week before that. So um, my favorite parts of that was I loved working in the hematology lab, which is blood. And I loved the blood bank, which is like when you, um, when you either donate blood or like if you're sick and you're going to have surgery and you know it, you can have your blood drawn earlier so that if you need blood, they can give you your own blood back. And I loved the blood bank. I actually wanted to continue on to college to do, <laughs> I'm getting notifications popping up. Go away. <laughs> but um, I wanted to go on to do uh, like a, I don't know, a further my career, <laughs> further my degree into either blood bank so that I could run a blood bank or I was really interested in urinalysis, which is urine. <laughs> and I really loved urinalysis for some reason. It was a lot of fun. And I wanted to be a urologist or a person who works in a blood bank. But then I met Devin <laughs> and my goals in life changed. And so, and I'm happy. I don't regret it at all. I don't regret um, one going to school and I don't regret not continuing school after I graduated. I'm, you know, things worked out the way they were supposed to and I'm perfectly happy now. So yeah. <laughs> To go along with that one, this is like number one and a half, uh, I love donating blood. I used to donate blood every time, every, I think it's three months usually, every three months I was in that little bus donating blood. I loved it. I absolutely loved getting the t-shirts. I had so many of them when me and Devin met. All the shirts I wore were the donation shirts and they're comfy because they're like the thick, high quality t-shirts and they have the cute little pictures and sayings on it and all that. And I just loved collecting those and getting the little snacks and stuff. And I actually have a random clip. I might throw it in here if I can find it of me donating blood. And I'm wearing my scrubs at the time. They were like a maroon color. And um, I just loved it. I remember the first time that I went to donate blood, I almost died on the inside when I seen that needle because it is a huge needle, way bigger than like a shot or IV. And I actually, I don't think you could, like I can't show you, but I have scars on both of my arms from donating so much. It looks like I've maybe had a bad habit, but they're, yeah, you can see them if you were in person. I have scars on each of my arms from donating blood so much. I absolutely loved it. I just, you know, it feels good because you can save up to seven people with your blood. And um, it makes you feel good about yourself when you know that you're doing something to help other people and you get like a cool t-shirt and like a cookie. <laughs> I did actually, one time I donated blood, I fainted. As soon as I didn't donate a blood, I don't know what was wrong with me, I guess because I was already out of my head a little bit. <laughs> I just stood up and as soon as I stood up, I fell. <laughs> I, I hit my head pretty bad. I ended up having to go to the ER and 
I was, I didn't have like an official concussion, but I had like an almost one because I ended up throwing up like the rest of the night and it was, it was pretty rough, but it was totally worth it because my little bit of pain probably, you know, could have helped someone's life be a little bit easier. And I would like to start donating it. It's just been super hard with Jesse because, um, most, you know, donation clinics, uh, don't have a play place for kids to wait in while I'm donating. And also I shouldn't drive right after, especially with him in the car. Uh, so I'd have to do it with my mom or with Devin. And Devin wouldn't do it. I think he'd be too terrified to do it. But yeah, I love it. And I, I want to like donate plasma and stuff. And I would even be open to donating my eggs if some woman I knew needed them. Like, you know, I'm not using them. You can have them. <laughs> but yeah, I love being able to help people. And it's that's a cool way to do it, I think. All right, that was a pretty long number one. <laughs> number two has to do with Devin. And when I first met him, okay, <laughs> I don't know if anyone believes in love at first sight. And I don't think, I don't even know if Devin, you know, Devin didn't feel this way when I first met him. But from the first moment I met him, I knew that I needed to be in his life. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of corny, but, um, and Kayla from Mama Mama was kind of talking about it too, about how she was when she first saw her husband that she knew that she was gonna marry him. And that's kind of exactly how me and Devin met, or how it was with me and Devin. Before I even talked to him, like when I first just seen him, it just like zinged. And I just knew that I had to be in his life and that we had to not necessarily be together, but I just knew I, need, I needed to get to know him. And I did. <laughs> and the way that I did get to know him was kind of funny. Cause the story of that night is that was when I was younger. <laughs> so I never really ran around and partied, but we were running around visiting people and stuff, me and my friend at the time. And she was, I would say my best friend at the time. We went over to the apartment complex where Devin happened to live, but we were visiting other people. And when we got out of my car, she seen Devin and she had known him because they went to school together and they had dated for a little while, years before that. And um, so she went up to him and was talking to him. So, you know, I followed her because she was my friend. And I didn't even talk to him that night at all. <laughs> but he ended up, he was outside smoking. And that's how, got on his balcony, and that's how we seen him. But that's when I zinged, or whatever, imprinted, whatever you want to call it. And um, he ended up coming out there with a bunch of the other people that we did come to visit and hanging out. And that's when I learned what his name was, Devin. And... Um, so, and after the moment where I, you know, I wanted to get to know him more, I actually, that night, because I spent the night at her house, I took her phone and I stole his phone number out of it. And I put it in my phone. <laughs> and then I just randomly texted him one night and he worked on um, third shift at the time. And so me and him, we just started instantly from like that night on talking every single night. And then about a few days later, he asked me to come over and hang out. And that first day that we hung out, we hung out at his house all night long and talked all night long. And it was just, it was love at first sight for me. <laughs> I don't know how he feels about it for sure. You know, I've asked him before, but I know for me, for sure, it was, I know I have to be in this person's life. <laughs> and now here we are. <laughs> and also I'm no longer friends with the girl that I was friends with. I don't think it was because of Devin. I think it, you know, it was other things, but um, yeah. So I think that's cool that I felt that way. Because I've never done that before with another guy. And I had dated quite a few guys, you know, before Devin. And uh, I never felt that way at all about another guy, especially one I didn't even know. And I didn't even know him. I didn't even talk to him that night. So, but yeah, this is fate. <laughs> this November 1st, actually Halloween night slash November 1st, will be um, our sixth year together. My air just kicked on the heat. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, when he asked me officially to date, um, it was Halloween night, but it was like one in the morning. So he counted as Halloween. I counted as November 1st, <laughs> but we, we always celebrate on November 1st. Number three, <laughs> I'm a planner, like big time. I plan out every single thing in our lives. I literally, you know, like plan it, write it down. I have calendars everywhere with stuff written on them. I use a marker board system <laughs> in our kitchen. Uh, I use, I have notepads all on my phone of stuff that I always plan out to make sure that things, you know, money is all, uh, where it needs to be, time is spent on what it needs to be spent on, things are bought when they need to be bought, all that kind of stuff. And I'm so hardcore in that, that if something doesn't go the way I planned it, it can ruin my entire day. <laughs> and Devin agrees with me on this. Uh, we were talking about it recently, actually. If anything goes the way that I don't want it to go, that I don't have it planned to go, 
it will ruin my entire day. That happened, the last time it happened was like a week ago when I went to get a new tire for our car. Um, it didn't go the way I wanted it to go that day. We got there and it's supposed to be first come first serve basis and we were there before a lot of other people but because we were getting a tire and other people were getting oil changes they were doing the oil changes first and that just annoyed the heck out of me and we ended up waiting for two and a half hours for our tire and then I just left because it was just so annoying to wait that long and I ended up getting the tire the next morning but it was just it ruined my entire day that other day <laughs> because uh, I didn't get to check that off on my list I've always been that way I don't know why I'm just a planner person and I guess I'm a control freak to an extent to where I want things to go the way that they're supposed to go and when they don't I get angry about it. <laughs> Number four is I can't stand seafood at all and the thought of eating fish makes me want to throw up and die. <laughs> Devin eats fish but I do not cook it here. We've only cooked fish once together and I tried it but it was absolutely horrible. And I mean anything out of the water, no fish no tuna in a can <laughs> no anything like that and I the worst thing ever is I cannot believe that people eat octopus and squid and clams I can imagine anyone ever in the history of forever opening up a clam and saying that looks delicious I'm gonna eat that raw <sighs> just the thought of eating that slimy glob of gunk makes me want to die and I can't even stand the way it fish smells when it's been cooked like I, I can't even be in a house when it's been cooked because it's just nasty and uh, if it's I don't want anything out of the water it's just gross but on a side note I do love fishing <laughs> but I'm a definite um, catch and release kind of person and I feel absolutely horrible if I catch a fish in a way that it ends up killing it like if you accidentally catch it in its belly or something and it dies it's so sad but I love um fishing. Me and Devin just fish all the time before Jesse was born, but since he's been born, we've only got to go a couple of times. Uh, so when Jesse gets a smidge older, we'll probably start taking him fishing. Actually, this year we got to get his fishing lessons before he turns three because his lifetime fishing lessons up until he's three will only be $200. And after he turns three, it'll shift to 600 and something dollars for Tennessee. And we want to go ahead and buy him his lifetime fishing and small game hunting because they come together. In case he does like that, you know, because if he does like fishing and small game hunting, he won't ever have to pay for it, the lessons. But if he doesn't, it's just, you know, it's not a big deal. $200 divided by the amount of years that he lives is, you know, pennies. So, it's not a big deal. <laughs> On the food thing, number five, I think number five, is I absolutely love salty food. And I've seen a lot of other people on the different channels say that too. And some people are sweet, some people are salt. Devin is a sweet person. He loves anything sweetie, Swedish. <laughs> I love salt. Like, I love salt. <laughs> right now, my tongue's actually burnt. I call it burnt from salt. Because I think it's maybe something wrong with my body that I'm, like, deficient in something. But I literally love salt. Like, I can eat salt just by itself. And I do, like, you know, like, at the bottom of pretzels, that glob of salt that's down there, I will eat that. And I burnt my tongue uh, <laughs> from peanuts. Because I like getting shelled peanuts that's still in the shell. And I lick all the salt off the shell and then eat the peanut. And it, I, I don't know what it's called. I call it burning. Because it, right there is where it hurts really bad for days. It's going to be sore for days. And I will eat so much salt sometimes that I get um, mouth ulcers on the inside. Canker sores, whatever you want to call them. And I will eat, I can eat chips or pretzels or anything just salty. And every time I cook something... I usually don't put a lot of salt in it while I'm cooking it so that um, Devin can eat it without a ton of salt and Jesse. But then when I get mine, I put tons of salt on it and eat it. I love salt. Like, I could eat salt all the time. I know it's probably not ever going to be good for my uh, blood pressure, but I've never had any issues so far, so hopefully it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, I love salty things. And I don't really like sweets at all. Like, I don't like cake. I don't like brownies. I don't like cookies unless they're freshly baked cookies and only peanut butter cookies and every now and then chocolate chip. I don't really like candy a whole lot. I'll eat some of it and I like chocolate kind of but only in like small amounts. I don't like a ton of sweet stuff. I would rather eat salt. I could just eat salt all day. I love salt. I think I'm on number six. <laughs> number six is I can't remember where my scar is. Can y'all see it? I used to have a Monroe piercing. It's like right here somewhere. Let me get closer. <laughs> right there. That little scar is from a piercing I used to have. I had a Monroe piercing, which is, you know, it's like the Monroe, Marilyn Monroe's 
mole <laughs> um, a piercing right there and I got that the week that me and Devin met that's actually one of our first dates is we went to get piercings together I got the Monroe piercing and he got his septum pierced which is the middle part of your nose and uh, <laughs> it didn't hurt at all actually what hurt is because I had this weird tooth from when my baby teeth didn't fall out it like rubbed it and gave me canker sores for a while until like my body got used to it but I love that piercing and I only got rid of it um, when I started working before I got pregnant I just you know I wanted to look professional when I went to work not that piercings are bad it's just you know that was my personal thing I just wanted to look like a grown-up and not like a teenager still so I did go ahead and just take it out and um, I would like to get it back maybe someday but uh, it'll be a while <laughs> before I do that I used to have two piercings on my ear lobes each but I have horrible luck keeping them not infected <laughs> like my body just rejects piercings most of the time and I had my belly button pierced. That was another one of my Devin's dates. That was actually the night we officially started dating. Because it was Halloween. We went, I got my belly button pierced and he got snake bites. Which are two piercings like right here. And uh, we went, that night is when we went to like a haunted forest. And our uh, hayride wrecked into a ditch. So we all had to get off the hayride and walk all the way back to where the cars were. Which was like a mile. And uh, yeah. So that's now I got my belly piercing. <laughs> but yeah. So I used to have a Monroe. And I've, in the future, I'll, if I ever lose weight, I would like to get my um, belly button re-pierced. And I'd like to get ear piercings, like two, if I can get them to not get infected. I've just always had horrible luck. Even if I clean them a lot and all that, they still just get infected really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, number seven, I think. <laughs> I love rocks and crystals, and I collect rocks and crystals, and always have. I have always been drawn to rocks and crystals, and um, ever since childhood, I've always kept them, and I keep them as souvenirs from places that we've visited, and I've bought a lot of them, especially my crystals. Uh, some of my, like my most favorite rock, it's more like a rock, it's not a crystal, but it's a desert rose, which is really cool looking. Let me go see if I can find mine. Okay, I found my books. Ah, you see that? <laughs> I used to have all my rocks and crystals displayed in a um, glass case and then when we moved to this apartment I had to pack them all up because I didn't we don't have the room and I don't want to put a whole bunch of nails in the wall but I'll show you some of my crystals <laughs> and rocks this is my favorite one this is the desert rose the lighting's bad it kind of resembles roses that's why it looks like this now, this is a small one they can get humongous <sighs> Yeah, I, I can't get it to, to focus. My camera doesn't do that. <laughs> but it's, and you have to be really careful with these because if they get wet, they will dissolve. They're most, you know, they're like a sand, kind of, they're from a desert, hence the name. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see it shining, but there are like crystal, what people see associate as crystals in there. And these, I love these because uh, I don't know if everybody's into <laughs> believing that these actually have powers and stuff. But I love desert roses because they draw out negativity um, from the house from people so this is my little one this is my little baby one that I love Devin actually bought this for me when we were dating um, there used to be a store in the town next over from us where and she sold crystals that she since uh, moved location she didn't close but she doesn't have the building anymore she operates out of her house um, but I want a giant one of these they they sell this one was like ten dollars I think they sell for pretty expensive <laughs> online, but I do want to order a big one one day to put in our living room. And I'd like to have a bunch of little ones like this just to set around the house and to put in everybody's bedrooms, you know, just to help with the negativity. And even if you don't believe in stuff like that, um, just knowing that it's associated with it, just like people do with saying that, you know, when they see a butterfly, it reminds them of their dead grandma. And then when I see this, it could remind me of not being negative. So yeah, I love Desert Rose. Now the rest of these, I can't remember their names. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had my crystals out and playing with them and stuff. But here's a pretty green one. I love my rocks and crystals. This one Devin bought for me too. This is one of the fake ones. This is like this is like a geode that's been dyed, but it's still pretty. These are the kind that they that you find at like tourist locations. They're just regular old geodes out in fields that people dye. But it is really pretty <laughs> and sparkly. 
and then this one you can't see its beautifulness <laughs> because it's inside of there you'd have to have it near you so that you can look and see because it's not going to focus at all i'm not even gonna try let's see what else do i got in here this one i love my crystals i love rocks and crystals this is can't remember where we got this one this isn't turquoise this is the fake version of it i can't remember the name of it see i can't remember the names i have to uh this is why a lot of people confuse for turquoise because if this is turquoise i wouldn't have it it'd be too expensive <laughs> I don't even care if they're real. A lot of times it's the fake ones. They're just pretty. And this is one. What else is in my box? This is the egg one Devin bought me too. <laughs> this has a little stand, but it's packed up. It's just an egg shaped. It's just a crystal that's been ground or whatever. And this is actually a goddess of beauty. I love that she's a bigger lady. And this is Peacock. <laughs> What else I got in here? I know I got a piece of lapis in here. Right here. This is my lapis. And this is um, volcano rock. Which is cool. I can't remember what this little green one is. It's been so long since I've studied them. What else do I got in here? This one. This is like a teal, not a teal, like a mint color. It's just it's blown out. <laughs> and then I have a bunch of rocks in here. This is one that me and Devin found. This is like an inside of a geode. This is just a cool fossil that we found. I don't know if it's a bone or what, but it's cool. We found it one time when we were fishing. I got some seashells down in here that we found. I've got a wart, a wart, oh, I can't even say it, worry stone in here. This is for you to like carry in your pocket and to uh, rub when you're worried and stuff. Got a bunch of chapstick in here. <laughs> That's probably really old and throw it away. But yeah, there's a bunch of rocks. Here's another fossil that we found fishing sometime. I think there's somewhere down here there's an arrowhead that I found fishing. Oh, there's some seashells. Just some random stuff that I find in Keep because that's the kind of person I am. I'm the kind of person who likes rocks. I think this is my favorite looking one because it's so pretty, even though it's not a real one. But see how sparkly it is. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my rocks. I think I actually have more. They're just in another container. The container these ones are all in is actually a gun box <laughs> that I got from my brother forever ago. And my key ring. It's like a ring. This I inherited from my grandmother when she passed away. My mom's mom. Her name is her name was America. But everybody called her Murky. But her name was America. Like really America. <laughs> Alright, that was a really long number seven, I think, All right? Alright. That was number seven. Number eight is I love to watch on YouTube car crash and like police chase stupid drivers road rage videos on youtube <laughs> like I, me and devin all the times we both do this we will turn it on like if jesse's not home and we'll just have that playing all day and watching it while doing other stuff it's just a lot of fun to watch for some reason i don't know why but we both like to watch those number nine to go along with that with watching stuff is i know a lot of people also say that they love watching crime shows which i do too i love watching like forensic files anything on the id channel or anything about serial killers and stuff like that and I especially love watching documentaries and stuff about cults. For some reason, I'm really into that. I just think it's so neat that someone can use just their personality to control a group of people. Uh, as the, my best favorite, it would be um, Charles Manson. I've watched everything about him. <laughs> and um, polygamists. I don't know why I'm so interested in polygamy, but I absolutely love watching documentaries about that because I think it's absolutely crazy that these people believe in this stuff <laughs> but uh it's interesting just to see kind of like dolly said it's interested to see the psychology and all that behind it and just to see like i love seeing the people who got out of it talk about it and some of that it's just really neat all right number 10 of the regular ones <laughs> is i don't like reading like at all 
<laughs> and I've tried so hard to like it because I know it's like so popular to love to read but I don't like reading at all and um I can't even remember the last time I read a book and it was probably The Outsiders because I have read that book a lot of times because <laughs> that's not my favorite book but I've just never been able to get into reading um I don't like listening to audiobooks I just don't like it it's just not my thing and I hate that because I know that you know a lot of people see being able to read a lot and quickly is intelligence but I don't know it's just like everything you know just because I don't know how to play the guitar doesn't mean that I don't like you know music at all and so you know it doesn't mean I'm not good or anything it's just I don't know I just don't like reading never have never will I read really slow when I do read it takes me forever to finish anything and I don't know, I just don't like reading, and um, I'm afraid I'm going to pass it on to Jesse because I don't like reading, maybe he won't like reading either, but I don't really care if he reads or not as long as he does other things, and I want him to do what he likes to do, so if he doesn't like reading, don't read. <laughs> and when I do read, it's uh, self-help books. I love reading self-help self books. I think a person can always better themselves, and... Um, yeah. Well, I'm editing I wanted to hop in here and say something real quick. Um, just because I haven't read doesn't mean that I don't like to learn and study still. Most, mostly, I absolutely love to watch documentaries about any subject. And um, I'm big on the computer. Like, you know, I like going to blogs and educational websites. And, you know, I always think people can always better themselves and learn con continuously forever, you know. So, um, I just don't like reading books. So, that's the 10. <laughs> I also thought of some more, I've got a couple more over here <laughs> that I wrote down and I was, I was going to try to pick out like the best 10 but then I was like I'll just do them all because it'll be 10 plus bonus ones. <laughs> so okay, one of my bonus ones, bonus one number one is I'm always the one who smiles and that's the saying I keep in my head is to be the one who smiles and, it, and what I mean by that is when you make eye contact with someone at a store or in a car or something to smile at them, <laughs> you know, because that person may need to be smiled at you know they may have been having a bad day and your smile might have perked them up a little or you know something like that but with with that being said it hurts my feelings <laughs> when I smile at someone and they don't smile at me back or if they just look like what was me or mad at the world or something it, it gets on my nerves <laughs> a little bit it's like come on I just smile at you just smile and it really bothers me when Jesse is waving and smiling at people and no one like reacts to him Although normally people react to them, but I mean, it's like, come on, just smile. <laughs> but yeah, I'm always the one who smiles. Bonus one number two, I have horrible road rage. <laughs> Not the kind of road rage where I will get out of my car and like threaten to kill someone or I will run someone off the road. But I, I get really mad when people don't use their blinkers or uh, take forever to turn like if they come to a complete stop before turning into <laughs> a huge roadway or something or if people are going too slow or too fast or if they cut me off or anything like that I'm the kind of person who would definitely be yelling some bad words and I really gotta quit doing that because Jesse says them sometimes <laughs> but um, you know it's just something I have to learn to quit doing but yeah I have a really horrible road rage. Another one that I've seen a lot of other people say on the different ch the videos is I love horror movies and shows and stuff like that. Absolutely love them. The only kind of horror movies I don't like watching and it's because they creep me out really bad are possession movies like demon possessions and stuff. Those creep me out <laughs> because they'll seem like something that could actually happen. You know, I'm not worried about like a zombie apocalypse or, you know, Jason or like a random monster coming to get me, but... Um, Possessions seem like something that could really happen. <laughs> so uh, those do kind of freak me out a little bit. I don't like watching possession movies. But I love horror movies. And my favorite kind of horror movies are the old ones. Like the original horror movies. Two of my favorite movies is uh, 1980s. Um, 1980, I think it is. The Children. I think that's really cool. It's kind of like a zombie movie, but not really. And uh, Night of the Living Dead, the original one. And pretty much any zombie movie. I love zombie movies and like The Walking Dead and all that. I love zombie stuff. Bonus number four, <laughs> I think, is I've been proposed to three times by three different guys. I've only said yes to one, <laughs> but um, two of them were in the same year. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you can you know take that however you want to take it, but yeah. I've been proposed to three times by three different guys, two in the same year, and then once by Devin. <laughs> And Devin actually proposed to me on December 20th in 2014. 
and it was we were at a Christmas light thing and we've since been there almost every year uh, I think we only missed one year and it's because no one else could get off to go with us so we just decided not to but it was at Christmas light display and yeah we took a picture there this year it was us and Jesse we usually take a picture at the same spot because I was decorated the same and it's like a Santa Claus in a helicopter <laughs> but yeah we actually have a picture of him proposing to me but it's not focused on us we're in the background while his dad is taking a picture of his little sister <laughs> but we're in the background when he's proposing to me <laughs> because he didn't like tell anyone ahead of time that he was doing it and yeah so he's the only one I said yes to <laughs> and the last one the last bonus one has to do with Devin also and this is gonna sound so corny but I love Devin so much <laughs> like I can't even I can't even express how much I love him and to to show you the point of it since the moment that we started hanging out together, we've seen each other every single day except three days, I think. Two days, at least two for sure. And those two days were when I had Jesse. Uh, he had FMLA from work for two days for Jesse. He couldn't get it on me because we weren't married and um, not legally married. And so he only had two days off for Jesse. Luckily, I had to get induced on a Saturday so he was already off of work or he took off that Friday night because I, he had to take me to the doctor and he worked second shift. So, um, because I was starting to get preeclampsia, I had preeclampsia with Jesse. <laughs> but so we went to the hospital Friday night and got put in there, uh, to do the, the urine thing where they, uh, record your urine for 24 hours to see how much proteins is in it. And mine was, they said that their high, their high number was, I think 300, I can't remember. But mine was over three times that. <laughs> so um, I definitely was in the beginning, you know, like I was in preeclampsia. But it wasn't bad enough for me to need a C-section yet. So that's why they went ahead and induced me. And I got to have Jesse naturally, as natural as you can have a kid by being induced. But um, that's another thing that goes back to my uh, planner personality is that really upset me because I wanted to go into labor naturally and I wanted to have Jesse at the birthing center and I ended up having to have him at the hospital but you know I wanted to do what was safe for us but anyways <laughs> um, he was there for Saturday and Sunday and then Monday Tuesday because he used his FMLA days for the Monday Tuesday we had to stay in the hospital for a week because Jesse was born with infection in his blood so they had to give him antibiotics for five days after he was born normally you know you get to go home the second day uh, well here it's the third day you know you have your baby and then two days later you get to go home but uh, if there's nothing wrong so Jesse was a little sick when he was born but not bad enough to need to be transported to a children's hospital they could treat him right there at the regular hospital so after that Tuesday you know he had to go back to work Wednesday so I didn't see him Wednesday and Thursday and in those two days of not seeing him my mom was with me when Devin had to leave my mom came to stay with me and Jesse at the hospital because you know no one wanted us to be alone but for those two days, <laughs> I got horribly, horribly depressed. So much so that my mom and my sister were both extremely worried about me. And I think it had to do, I think it was postpartum depression to an extent. It wasn't anything towards Jesse, the way some women have postpartum depression where they don't bond with their baby and all that. Mine was just because, you know, I just had my first baby. And instead of getting to go home with my family, then, you know, a couple days after having him, he was sick. I was trying to recover from having a baby. And uh, Devin was gone. And it was horrible. I remember crying pretty much nonstop those two days. And my mom was super worried about me. And I remember that Thursday, no, that Friday morning, Devin came to see me before he went to work. And I remember I was sitting there in the little crappy chair they give you in hospitals and Jesse was wrapped up in one of those jaundice blankets that's like blue and glowing because <laughs> he had a little bit of jaundice. And um, so he was laying there like a little robot. And I remember looking up and just Devin was standing in the doorway and I instantly just started crying as soon as I saw him. And I can't imagine not having Devin. <laughs> like just the thought of it makes I could just cry thinking about not having Devin. So, and he knows this. He knows that I worship the ground he walks on. And it's, it goes both ways. He's the same way with me. <laughs> and um, I've, I've never, ever felt that way about anybody in my entire life. And I've dated people before, you know, for a while. And it was just never like it was with Devin. To me, I know a thousand percent 
that Devin is my soulmate. <laughs> That's why when we do get legally married, um, one of the wedding songs that I want is, um, I think it's Christina Perry or something like that. <laughs> and it's uh, A Thousand Years. Because every time I hear that song, it makes me cry because I think about Devin and it's, it's like that I feel the way that song is, I feel that way about Devin, that I've loved him forever, even before we were bodies, when we were just spirits floating around somewhere. I, you know, we've been connected forever. If there are past lives, we've met in past lives. We had two of And if there are future lives, we're going to meet in them too. Because I feel without it, you know, 100% without a doubt that Devin and I are meant for each other. <laughs> and I know that's super corny because a lot of people say stuff like that and then like two years later they're broken up. But this is our sixth year and me and him joke all the time about how nowadays that's amazing. You know, most people stay together for a few months and break up. But, um, yeah, he's my soulmate. <laughs> okay, that's all of my randoms. That's my ten plus, I think, five <laughs> random things about me or non-yarny things about me. So yeah, I hope you liked them. I hope they weren't weird. <laughs> if you have any questions about any of them, let me know. If you have any comments, let me know. <laughs> Just don't say anything negative. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because I gotta text Devin and have him come pick me up so I can go over there with them. They're over at his dad's house hanging out so I can film. And I'm gonna load up everything with me to um, edit while I'm over there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure what day this will come out on. So you would have already seen No Catch a Name 67. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I'll be filming some more videos soon, I hope. Uh, as of right now, I still have some bags in my shop. If you're interested, they'll be linked below. Um, actually, these ones aren't. These ones are sold. These pink ones. These are the ones available. <laughs> if you're interested, check them out. It'll be linked below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.